Hi, this is Mike with Comfile Technology, and in this video I'm going to give an introduction and demonstration of the MoaCon, Comfile's new modular industrial controller. Now the MoaCon features a modular design so you can choose from a wide selection of different modules and customize the controller with just the features you need. It has a 32-bit ARM processor. It's programmable in C using the software integrated development environment dubbed MoaCon Studio. You develop software on a PC and download it to the MoaCon over a USB cable. The USB also provides, in addition to downloading, a debugging feature. A MoaCon Studio is the integrated development environment used to program the MoaCon in C. It features a project view for managing your source files, a source editor with syntax highlighting and command completion, context-sensitive help, which gives you a description of each function in the MoaCon library as you type, an output window so you can see the status of your compilation and downloading, and a debug terminal for monitoring your programs as they execute on the MoaCon. The MoaCon features a wide selection of different modules to choose from, and we've broken them down into four categories. First, the CPU module. It has a 72 megahertz, 32-bit ARM CPU, 512 kilobytes of program memory, 64 kilobytes of data memory, and 32 kilobytes of non-volatile Ferris RAM, which is used in place of the typical EEPROM to retain data between power cycles a real-time clock, and an LCD and seven-segment control port, which are used to display output to our LCD and seven-segment display modules. And next we have our digital I.O. modules. Now depending on whether you need to sync or source current, we have an eight-port digital output sync module and an eight-port digital output source module. We then have an eight-port relay output module and an eight-port digital input module. Then we have an 8-port expansion relay output module and a 16-port expansion digital input module. The expansion modules are needed in case you need to expand the number of I.O. ports the MoaCon provides by default. And then we have a set of special purpose modules. These include a high-speed counter encoder PWM module, an RS-232-45 communication module, a two-axis stepper motor control module, and an Ethernet module should you wish to add TCP IP capabilities to the MoaCon. And finally we have our analog I.O. modules. These include a 4-channel 13.3-bit analog-to-digital converter, a higher resolution 4-channel 16.6-bit analog-to-digital converter, a 2-channel 16-bit voltage digital-to-analog converter, a 2-channel 16-bit current digital-to-analog converter, and a four-channel temperature sensor module. Now the modules are installed into slot boards. We have a 10-slot configuration and a five-slot configuration. Your system can consist of a single CPU module, or with the 10-slot board daisy-chained with two five-slot boards, you can install as many as 20 modules. Now I'm going to give a quick demonstration of how one would go about programming the MoaCon in MoaCon Studio. In this demonstration, we'll install a CPU module, and in the DIO0 slot, we'll install a digital output source module. The slot in which this output source module is installed will determine how we address it in the code. We'll wire up eight LEDs, and in our code, we'll turn on the LEDs in sequence from zero to seven, and then back again, and we'll do this repeatedly in a loop. Now in order for the LEDs to turn on, we need to supply power to the digital output source module. To do that, we'll run some jumper wires from the ground and 5 volt terminals on the CPU module. Now looking at the actual MoaCon, you'll see our jumper wires from the ground terminal to C2 and C1 on the digital output module, and jumper wires from the 5 volt terminal to V2 and V1 and then our LEDs from bit 0 to bit 7. And now looking at our setup, we have a USB cable connecting our computer to the MoaCon, and that will be used to download and debug the program. Now here in MoaCon Studio, we need to create a new development project. We'll go to Project, New Project, we'll name it Demo, 
and Moacon Studio will automatically generate a basic source file for us. This has the Moacon header file, which includes all of Moacon's definitions for programming it, and a main function, which is our program's entry point for execution. Now, if you remember, we installed our digital output source module in DIO slot 0. That means in order for us to do any I.O. to that module, we have to refer to it as port block 0. So the first thing we need to do is we need to initialize that port block for output. To do that, we need to call the port init function. And looking here in our context sensitive help, we see the first argument is the port block number, which will be 0. And the second argument is our mode which in this case needs to be output, so it is also zero. Next, we want our program to run forever without exiting, so we'll create an infinite while loop. Now inside this while loop, we want to create two for loops. The first for loop will be used to turn on LEDs in sequence from zero to seven, and the second will be used to do the reverse, to turn on the LEDs in sequence from seven to zero. Now to use a for loop, we need an iteration counter, which we'll name i. And our first for loop, which will count from 0 to 7. And our second for loop, which will count from 7 to 0. And inside this for loop, we want to send output to our digital output module to turn on and off the LEDs. To do that, we need to call the port block out function. Now the first argument of this function is the port block number, which we know to be 0. And the second is a value from 0 to 255. 0 being all LEDs off, and 255 being all LEDs on. Well, we only want one LED on at a, at a time, so we're going to output a 1 and shift it to the left with each iteration. Now, this, this program will execute so quickly that we won't actually be able to see the LEDs turning on and off. So to slow it down a little bit, we're going to add some delay. We'll make it 50 milliseconds. And this same procedure can just be copied and pasted into the reverse for loop. And now we're finished programming, so we need to compile and download the program to the Moacon where it will begin executing immediately. To do that, we just click the Run button. And now it's downloaded to the Moacon and executing. Let's go take a look. And now here we are looking at the Moacon, and we can see our LEDs turning on in sequence from bit 0 to bit 7 and back again. And that completes our demonstration. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at www.comfiletech.com. And thanks for watching.